by the time I was 17, I'd really said to myself, I don't want to do this anymore. I was still going to church just to kind of fight less with my parents. But I was driving home one night. I don't remember that day because on my way home, I had this horrific car accident um, where the car kind of barrel rolled down the steep ravine and everything. I completely lost control. Um, I was flown to hospital um, with serious, serious injuries. I, they didn't expect me to live. They said, if I, if I did live, that I would be severely handicapped and I wouldn't be the same person I was before because of my injuries and I'd hurt my head and brain really badly. My first kind of memory or feeling is just this overwhelming feeling of peace and God's presence and knowing that he was there with me, that I was alive for a reason. He'd kept me alive and he'd worked these miracles um, to keep me alive for a reason and that it was going to be okay somehow. I, d I don't know, I can't explain it. It's really hard to explain, but I knew that God was with me and that he loved me so, so much, regardless of what I'd done um, in the past. Along with that came a lot of different things, along with my friendship group and along with the fact that I kind of abandoned my walk with God for a few years, came a lot of uh, being anxious and getting very uh, secretive about how I really felt, although I, I was, easily given off a cocky, confident persona. I was, deep down inside, I was getting very anxious about how people thought about me. Uh, when I was 15, I got asked if I wanted to do a commitment course here in our church. At the end of the course, I decided to get baptised. It's been a journey ever since then. Yeah, when I was 12, I, there was like, there'd been some sort of like tragedy and I was really, really scared about it and I was worried. And so my dad told me to pray about it. And, and then I did pray about it and, I started to trust in God a lot more and I felt so much better. When I was 14, um, I went to a camp. When I was on that camp, I heard on the last evening um, about Jesus' love and what he'd done on the cross. And then we got some time just to chill, relax on the campsite, um, just on our own, in the darkness, turned all the generators off. It was just completely silent. And that's where I decided to um, follow Jesus. I was, I was in tears. It was just amazing just to um, realise what Jesus had done for me on the cross. I started going to like uh, Christian weeks away and trips and stuff and I started just to think, okay, what if the Bible is true? Like, what if I've heard and like the stuff I've read when I've been in club? What if it's true? Like, what if Jesus was actually the Son of God that he did go on a cross and he did die for me? What if I'm just like sitting here and like thinking, oh yeah, that's nice. Um, and I thought to myself, well, if Jesus took a chance on me, then I'm gonna take a chance on him as well. It was about three years ago where Troy, one of the main people in the organization approached me and he was like, oh, do you wanna come to this event, which is Christian based? And I was like, oh, okay, what, what do you do? Is it like all Bible talking? He's like, oh no, we mainly game with about a 10 minute talk every now and again. So I was like, oh, okay, I won't pay much attention to the talk and I'll just focus on the games. And this time last year, I was invited to a event called Sold Out, which is a week stay at this Christian place where they teach you more about the Lord and what your path would be like and how much better your life can be with the Lord. And it was at that moment which I knew I wanted to accept Christ into my life. <music>